Mr. Oldman, uh, sir, are you ready for your day in criminal court? I don't have time. I have a date with justice. Justice must be served. Mr. Oldman, can you tell us what happened? Well, listen, I was just at Colicchio and Sons, a great restaurant with some friends celebrating. Uh, we had amazing wine. Uh, they decanted the wine. The wine was empty. I went to leave the restaurant. I took a bottle of uh, what we call a dead soldier. It's just a souvenir. And boom, I get into the crosswalk, 10th Avenue. Officers apprehend me, and they wrote me up for open container. The the bottle was just a souvenir bottle. That must have been a frightening moment, sir. It was absolutely frightening. It was disconcerting. All I wanted to do was have a souvenir, and suddenly I'm accosted by New York's finest. Can you tell us about the Chateau Palmer? Well, yes. I, in fact, I have it here. This as, is the as evidence? Evidence. This is the actual bottle I was given a summons for, an uh, open container summons. Uh, as you could see, it's a gorgeous label. 1970 was an amazing year. How did it taste? It was superb. Uh, that kind of trademark tobacco leaf taste, uh, medium bodied, elegant, balanced, almost had a truffle perfume to was it. Was it worth it? I'm gonna have to say, without a doubt. The media has been barred from the courtroom, but insiders say there have been tense moments. Oldman is standing his ground. One man, an empty bottle, and a cause. A crowd gathered outside the courthouse to support the wine crusader. Some of Olden's supporters came from as far as France to support the man that they're calling their hero. Libéré Olman! Libéré Olman! Libéré Olman! Il faut boire libre! Vive le vin libre! Mr. Olden, what did the judge say? Well, it was straightforward. I gave him my evidence. I showed the 1970 Chateau Palmer. And frankly, he understood. Uh, truth be told, he asked me a lot of questions about uh, what was the most wine I ever had in a particular day. He asked me, when is a wine ageable? And uh, you know what? I think this day, this historic day in wine, strikes a victory for every wine enthusiast who wants to save a souvenir bottle of wine. You feel like this is one small step for Mark Oldman, but one giant step for wine lovers worldwide? I think now people will be able to go into restaurants, and when they have a 1970 Bordeaux, or maybe a 62 Burgundy, and they want to save it, as what we wine enthusiasts call a, call a dead soldier, that is a souvenir bottle, we can do it. We can overcome. Every industry has its cause celeb. Pop music had Michael Jackson. The film industry has Roman Polanski. And now the wine world has Mark Oldman. Live at the courthouse, I'm Allison Harmelin, Wine News Network. trying to get him freed. He's, he's actually been freed. Okay, so let's do it as, as many as... I'll just put it here. So just start chanting, Free Olden! 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 Here's one more thing, just... I'm going to actually say something about this, and you'll pan to the crowd. A crowd gathered to support their... <laughs>